Yeah. Does your does your use case actually require machine learning, like or even deep learning? That's a that's the first question you need to answer, because that the machine learning doesn't come doesn't come for free. Yeah. So you have price to pay. It's so expensive. So do you want you actually want to do it? Uh -huh. You want to evaluate on that front first. Then start building your projects, train your models, prepare, prepare your data, train your models, deploy your models, do things like that. And are you looking at the cost? Because I, I remember in the From Predictive to Generative blog, you talked about how there's different tiers of model support. Yes. Yes. And so if it's obviously the Riot ETA, that's probably one of the most important models yep. that can yep. never go offline ever. And then if it's something maybe a little bit more experimental, you are more relaxed about it. Yes. When Michelangelo started back in 2016, at that time, our mission was to enable machine learning for Uber. Mm. Basically, get Uber started with machine learning. And at that time, when, when Michelangelo started, we only had like three use cases on Michelangelo, but now we have like thousands. Yeah. So and each one has their own dashboard. Each one has their own <laughs> dashboard. Yeah. For example, wow. if your model performance degrades, yeah. it automatically sends out alerts uh -huh. to that team. And wow. then they look into why. And for you, if they're not shipping enough, then you're going to go look into why. Is there something blocking them exactly. in exactly. the platform? Exactly. Yeah. Is our system? Is there some system bug that mm -hmm. blocking uh, the development? Is the pipeline keeps? Uh, does the pipeline keep failing? And all things yeah. we, we we need to look at. So, so. But anyway, sorry, I just I distracted you. Oh, but no worries. Thousands of dashboards. It just blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um,